held my breath. <laughs> like, watching you in the air, I was like, mm. is it gonna be okay? Because Yeah, my mom was driving around the neighborhood, she's like, I don't wanna watch. Seriously? <laughs> she didn't she watch left. you? White, you asked for yeah, matcha, matcha, right? Matcha, yeah. I was um, never too big into coffee. And then yeah. I remember, you know, everybody would wake up and it's such a ritual and they'd all go to the store or go to the cafe and like, I would just be left out. So it's like, <laughs> so you're like, I have to I'll find go. something. Yeah, so I got into tea um, and then matcha became very popular in, in my world, so yeah. Sean White, mm -hmm. four-time Olympian, three-time gold medalist. Yes. The drink is always about, mm -hmm. how did you get here? Like, how did you yeah. become Sean White? Yeah, um, it was a lot of just happened to be at the right place and right time. And then I think it was the support of my family, honestly, because yeah. I started skiing around four yeah. and then grabbed a board at five yeah. and by six or seven, I was sponsored. Yeah. How are you sponsored as yeah. a seven-year-old? Well, how did that happen? Well, and that's where the family comes in because we realized that they didn't make snowboards for kids at this point. I mean, I rode ski boots on makeshift really? bindings on a board for the longest time because they just didn't have equipment. It was so new. Yeah. Um, and my mom uh, called Burton Snowboards. She was like, hey, my son. And it, I don't think it was because I was that great or anything. It's just they needed kids to test wow. the products. And I fit the bill and got aboard. But it meant the world to me. I was like, wow. And then at that point, they're like, look, well, we're going to get you product. You should maybe yeah. try some competitions. And I was entered into a race, the local amateur division, and I won. You were how old? Gosh, I was probably like six, seven years wow. old. Yeah, You're... that sparked everything. Was it skateboarding or snowboarding first, or was it all together? I want to say it was skateboarding, because it was like a means of transportation. It was my bicycle and my skateboard. And uh -huh. so skateboarding was really first, but then I got all the recognition and sponsorships within With snowboarding, snowboarding, so that really took the limelight right. until I was probably 16. And I had this big talk with Tony Hawk, and I was like, I think Tony I'm Hawk, do. skateboarder phenomenon, yeah, right? Yeah, world legend, renowned, legend. Yeah, legend. And I was so, you know, in awe of him. Obviously, it's Tony Hawk, and just crazy the fact that we were becoming friends at this point. I was known so well, so much in the snowboard world that to cross that kind of barrier in the skate world, I kind of wanted his approval and some, you know, other people. And uh, what did he say? He <laughs> he was really funny about it. He was just kind of like. Yeah, why not? Like, <laughs> I'm what's surprised you haven't done it already. Yeah, like, what's going on? I was like, okay, it was like this big moment for me. And he was like, yeah, yeah, be great. <laughs> why not? Can I tell you honestly, watching yeah. you in these 2022, as we sit here yeah. now, post 2022 yeah. Beijing, I held my breath. <laughs> like, watching you in the air, I was like, Mm. Is it going to be okay? Because Yeah, my mom look. was driving around the neighborhood. She's like, I don't want to watch. Seriously? <laughs> she didn't she watch left. you? <laughs> did a huge party and she just left. She's like, I can't. She it's got a the lot. Car. As a mom, I can yeah, imagine. I have yeah. kids. Like, I can imagine being really For freaked sure. out. <laughs> I mean, I'm so glad you're here in one yeah, piece. Everything's hey, fine. Thank you, you know? thank you. Of course. Um, it didn't quite turn out the way you were hoping. Of course. But it was a perfect you know, thing of like, I had gotten fourth at Sochi and was like, wow, okay, fourth. I just missed the podium, which is frustrating. But knowing me, I, if I would have gotten third, I would have been like, oh, I could have done this to get second. <laughs> and then if I was in second, I could have. It's just the competitor. You always want more. But honestly, looking back over my career and having three gold medals in my pocket already, and to just be there at this age and ride yeah. with these younger competitors and I mean, almost hit the podium. It's, it's. I was very proud. So. And by the way, you're what, 35? 35. So I, I, you're not an old man. Like no, you got, no, maybe in the sport, got, but you've yeah, got, got a lot, lot of life ahead of you. Have you even been able to process yet what that's going to look like? Or are you still like in the glow of Beijing and trying to? It's both. I mean, <laughs> being able to kind of, and this is what I was so thankful about, knowing friends that were on traditional sports teams and got the phone call like, hey, come into the office. And I'm like, well, it's over and yeah. they you know, weren't prepared, they weren't ready. I right. sort of felt so thankful that I was able to decide and then that choice made everything after that just so 
incredible. And um, yeah, you did this on your own terms. Yeah, and, yeah. And even those moments where you're crying oh, and the people were coming, everybody's <laughs> coming up to you. That yeah. had to be affirming. Like, yeah. They worship you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the people that are, what, like 10 years yeah, at least yeah, younger than 13, you? Yeah, uh, it was so cool. I mean, one of the competitors is like, I, I haven't told you this, but I, I had your snowboard. I wore the jacket ah, you wore <laughs> yeah. because when, I, when he first started, Wanted to be I was you. like, oh man, yeah. Right. So really humbling moment. And the sport is so great. There's still so many things to be involved in. And, and just like talking, we mentioned Tony Hawk. I mean, yeah. he retired years ago. And he's like, I still do so much within the sport, but I'm just not getting scored anymore right. to do it. Right, so you can still it's like, snowboard. It's great. Yeah. You can still hit the mountain. I know you already have a company. Mm -hmm. You've got your own you line of snowboards, right? Uh -huh. Which is a big deal. Yeah. Is that what's next? I think a mix of things. Mix. Obviously, there's a there's this list I wrote out <laughs> with the help of my girlfriend. She's like, just write it out, and we'll get to this list and things I want to do with the free time. What's I have. on the list? What's the time? Well, I checked one off already. I wanted to. I've never been to the Super Bowl. I landed from China, went straight <laughs> oh to the Super gosh. Bowl, and was just like. <laughs> So that was incredible to check okay, something check, off the yeah. list. Um, just places to travel and then some simple stuff and just being around for birthdays, holidays, yeah. things like that. Um, and then the brand is so incredible. I, so I started the, the snowboarding kind of lifestyle active wear company with my brother, uh, Whitespace. And you know, when I was a kid, they didn't have products for kids. Um, I was gifted a board from Burton Snowboards at that young age. Um, and I keep thinking like, wow, if I could be that, I mean, look where that you could do that for brought someone. me today. If I could, yeah, some young uh, boy or girl or whoever has that excitement for the sport and like mentor them and build the team for the brand. And like, there's yeah. just so much to do still. So. Yeah, there's a lot of business opportunity yeah, And I there. love being able to pour my energy into that because it's so authentic to, you know, I know what goes into a great board and I know all these things. So to use that expertise and put it into a brand is going to be fun. Can we do a quick lightning round? Mm, sure. This one's for my daughter. Okay. She's a snowboarder. Okay. Favorite tune that you listen to as you're going down the mountain? Oh, man. ACDC, Back in Black. Nice. You need something that goes. Mm. Favorite <laughs> trick? Favorite trick is the frontside 360. Okay, that's it's when simple. you go <laughs> this it's way? Just no. degrees of rotation. So half a circle, 180, full 360. So it's like... Okay. It's just a spin, but it's yep. it's really small spin. So you can kind of look around and like wave to the friend. And <laughs> you see favorite. everything. Yeah, you kind of, you get to enjoy it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Weirdest thing about you? Oh, um, I love uh, gardening. You do? <laughs> I do. I love Come it. Come on. Yeah. Sean White, yeah. the gardener. I'm into it. I like, I like trim the gloves, the like the knee yeah. pads. You're out there. Like, Home Depot is big in my world. I go there okay. and get like, I, I get the, you know, hey, we can fix that fence. I'm like, I got this. <laughs> okay. It's not perfect. Um, yeah. Best advice you ever got? <laughs> Most recently, uh, this one just popped in my head, was um, now that you're retired, don't stop working out. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of athletes were like, True. it's hard to get yeah. it back once yeah. you lose yeah. it. So yeah, yeah. stay strong. I'm going to ask this delicately. Yeah. Is there a marriage in your future? I would love at some point, of course. I'm in a wonderful relationship, so we'll see where it goes. But now we have the time to actually spend together, yeah. so we'll yeah. see. She's here. <laughs> oh yeah, she's here. Some... Yeah. Um, I'm like, I'm only in New York for two days. You have to come with me. <laughs> nice. So. Sean, it's yeah. been great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Really Cheers. appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs>